While there have been several Shonen Jump and Jump World video games in the past, the release of J-Star's Victory vs. Plus marks the first time where one of these games has been given an official release here in the United States. How come? Well, the various series that are all controlled by Shuisha in Japan are licensed to numerous companies here in the States. I mean, for example, 4Kids got Yu-Gi-Oh! and Shaman King, Funimation has Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Toriko, Sentai Filmworks has Gintama, Viz Media has Naruto, Warner Brothers has Jojo, and you see the problem. While Tatsunoko couldn't untangle all of the licenses for their characters, Shuisha has the backing of Namco Bandai to smooth out some of these logistical issues. Which is why the audio is Japanese only. But you're not here to learn about the inner workings of international copyright, you're here because you want to know whether or not this game is worth your money. So let's break in my new rocket and get right to it. The game is a third-person brawler that plays like a combination of the Budokai Tenkaichi games and action games like God of War or Devil May Cry. You have your light attacks, your heavy attacks, and your special moves which consume stamina and do different things depending on the character you're playing as. The battles are two on two with the goal being to knock out your opponents and fill your victory gauge. The first team to reach three KOs wins the match. In addition to the player characters you can also call on a support character for a quick assist or to add hits to your combo. As you fight the team slowly pulls the voltage meter to their team's side of the HUD with each successful hit. Once it reaches the end of that side the team can trigger a victory burst which boosts their stats and allows the player controlled characters to use their ultimate attacks. There's a bit of a learning curve to the controls when you first start to play, as the battles can get very chaotic very quickly, meaning that if you're not skilled at the game, it can be very easy to be overwhelmed. While attacks are easy to input, chaining together combos is difficult if not impossible for some characters, as the 6 attack burst ends with you knocking your opponent away. However, it's not clear if there are any bonuses or perks to building up your combos, aside from simply decreasing your opponent's health, and that's if you manage to catch them off guard. It also gets a bit tricky to use different special moves, as it tries to use the Smash Brothers methodology of having neutral and forward moving versions, as well as having variants from when you press the special attack button while holding guard. Lastly, it can be really easy to accidentally pass your opponent, especially when you use the dash, which also consumes stamina. It's very hard to control since you're moving at a high speed, and it makes it tricky to go back and find your opponent, even if you're locked on. That said, once you get a hang of the controls and realize that you can't play this as a regular beat-em-up or even as a normal fighter, it can be pretty fun. The best strategy is to focus on alternating between the two characters on the opposing team based on your proximity and how much health they have so you can more effectively rack up the KOs. The game features a few additional modes. J Adventure is the quote unquote story mode where you play one of four character arcs and face off against other characters as part of the Jump World tournament. It has quests and objectives that reward you with experience and J points, which act as your currency in this game. In order to unlock all of the characters, you have to buy them using J points in the shop, as you only have six characters to start with. J Adventure also appears to be the only mode where you can earn J points, so you'll be playing this mode a lot. You also have Victory Road, a challenge mode where you have to satisfy different criteria and move along the different routes. As you can see, I haven't gotten very far. Exclusive to the US version, you have Arcade Mode, which has you trying to win 6 matches in the shortest time possible. You don't really earn anything from this mode, and is more or less just there for you to get a high score. Free Battle and Online Battle are pretty self-explanatory. Free Battle lets you play quick matches using custom settings, and also allows you to play with another player. I don't have much experience with Online Battle, as my connection's actually pretty crappy. The one match I got to fight in got disconnected in the middle of my victory burst. J Customize allows you to customize your fighters with upgrades using cards from the shop. However, you have to earn special coins in order to use this feature, and I have yet to earn any. Spike Chunsoft took special care to adapt the art styles of the various characters into 3D while still having them retain their unique looks. The special attacks are as close to the source material as possible, helped by the fact that the characters are voiced by the voice actors of their respective anime adaptations. I also like how the character introductions give the characters unique typefaces that tie into their respective franchises. However, sometimes it can get a little distracting, like when you play as Gintoki and have Shinpachi commenting from off screen. While none of the other characters appear to have subtitles or translations for their in battle dialogue, especially during their ultimate attacks, Shinpachi's dialogue appears as a huge text bubble which draws attention away from the fight. Another thing I do like about this game is the occasional exchanges between the various characters, and it's not limited to characters from the same series, as there are dialogues between characters 
characters from various franchises that have some pretty laughable moments. The game also features stages based on key locales from the various franchises, complete with destructible environments. This works well to emulate the destruction the fights from these various action manga tend to dole out. If you're a Shonen Jump fan, then you will enjoy this game. However, that enjoyment may be fairly short-lived. There isn't really a whole lot of depth to the story mode, and despite the developer's attention to canonical details, the characters more or less play the same as one another. As a third-person brawler, it has some strategic aspects to consider, which makes the fights challenging, but the overall design doesn't really make it a good game for hardcore competition, which is either a plus or a minus depending on what you're looking for in a game. Overall, this is a game that's pretty much made solely for fans of these Shonen Jump franchises. It's not as transparent about its fan service as other games, but it's not going to be much fun for players who aren't already fans of these characters. Even if they are, the fan service will only carry you so far. My advice for those of you Jump fans that are still on the fence, maybe wait for a bit of a price drop before getting this game. All of that said, J-Star's Victory vs. Plus gets a 3.5 out of 5. So that's it for this episode of Romney's Reviews. Should I review more video games in the future now that I can actually capture footage? Or should I stick mainly to movies? Let me know in the comments below. But until then, I'll see you all next time. This is Romney, signing out.